over the past century, Stickley has become a product of choice for those who expect to own the finest. There's a special quality about Stickley furniture that has earned the loyalty of serious collectors, scholars, and families for generations. Today, Stickley originals from the turn of the century are worth many times the original price in auction houses around the country. By any measure, Stickley is a unique product and a unique company. You need to look closely at our product. It really has a lot of hidden value. There's superficial value, for sure, but there's a lot of internal value in the construction, and the quality of wood that's used, and the translucency of the finishes. So look very carefully at us. You know, when I fit a drawer, I feel like that drawer has to go in and out of the case a hundred years from today, the same as it does today. And if it doesn't, it's my responsibility, it's my fault. Of course, I won't be around to explain myself. So I've got to make sure I do the right thing the first time. And here at Stickley, I get the time necessary to do that job. The best thing I can say to any consumer is get educated about what makes a fine piece of furniture. Study everything you can. Ask questions. Be inquisitive. Don't settle for anything less than the best. Pride in craftsmanship is a cornerstone of the Stickley tradition. Almost a century ago, Gustav Stickley adopted this shop mark for his creations, a joiner's compass with the Flemish words, als ich kann, which loosely translates into the motto, to the best of my ability. In 1900, Leopold and John George Stickley purchased a furniture factory in Fayetteville, New York. Like their older brother, Gustav, they helped popularize the ideas and philosophies of the arts and crafts movement in this country. The Stickleys believed in clean lines and the inherent beauty of natural wood. Simple construction and honest design were at the heart of their craft. In 1922, Leopold introduced the Cherry Valley Collection, timeless adaptations of early American and colonial antiques. Made from solid wild black cherry, these pieces have provided generations of families with lasting beauty and comfort. Shortly before his death in 1957, Leopold Stickley was honored by the editors of 10 magazines as the revered Dean of Cabinet Makers, whose art and craftsmanship have contributed mightily to American home life. It was an award never given before nor since to any furniture manufacturer. At that time, E.J. Audi was the largest Stickley dealer and a passionate advocate of its legendary quality. Stickley's proud legacy continues today under the watchful eyes of E.J.'s son, Alfred, and his wife, Amini, who purchased the company in 1974. To this day, I have the vivid image of my father-in-law inviting the customer to look at the Stickley table and the beautiful finish. And he said, you know, having breakfast at the Stickley table is like having breakfast with a beautiful woman. It smiles at you. Most of my childhood was spent growing up in the old factory. By far, Dad's favorite was to stand in the Stickley drawer, and this really is something that customers remember to this day. He'd pull the drawer out, and he'd either hop right up on the side here and say, you can't build a piece of furniture any better than this, or he'd get right in it and stand up and say, this is just truly incredible furniture. Over the years, Stickley has prospered and moved to a new location in Manlius, New York. Today, the company has 900 employees committed to the principles of exceptional craftsmanship that make Stickley a better product today than ever before. The Audi's respect for the Stickley heritage, their reverence for history, is coupled with a vision for the future. We're very proud of Stickley's past and Stickley's legacy. But we don't want the past to eclipse the future. My wife and I taught our children that to keep the value, the fundamentals need to be adhered to. And that's the timeless design, a deep, penetrating, lustrous finish that improves with age, the finest solid hardwoods that money can buy, and the finest construction known to cabinet making. And that will ensure loyalty of the consumer. And then, of course, there is the dedication of countless people. 
I think that there is real love that goes into the furniture, from the people who make it and work hands-on with it every day, to the people who design it. Some design features are visible, others have to be discovered, like Stickley's unique side-hung and center-guided drawers, a Leopold Stickley innovation from the late 1920s. The center guide keeps drawers from skewing sideways, and the side suspension keeps them level even when heavily loaded, ensuring generations of smooth operation. The drawer is also dovetailed in all four corners, fully corner blocked on the bottom, hand fitted, numbered, and dated. Stickley cabinets represent the finest construction known to cabinet making. Cross rails are joined to cabinet sides with dovetail joints, one of the strongest known in cabinetry. The dovetailed cross rails are visible on the traditional collection and hidden on the mission pieces. Reissued mission pieces like those made at the turn of the century incorporate genuine mortise and tenon joinery, which requires an exceptional degree of accuracy. Like the originals, they are made of solid, quarter sawn white oak. The process of quarter sawing reveals the distinctive characteristic of the medullary rays and creates the unique wavy pattern known as ray flake. Nowhere is the beauty of the ray flake more evident than in the quadrilinear post developed by Leopold Stickley. Four quarter sawn solid white oak boards are mitered and then glued around a center post allowing the beauty of the ray flake to be visible from all four sides. Today, vintage machines, like this 1930 mortiser, work in concert with state-of-the-art computerized machines and the hands of skilled craftsmen to create a product and a company which would make the Stickleys proud. The creation of a Stickley piece begins with the careful selection of the highest grade of solid wood available. One-piece drawer fronts are matched for grain and color, avoiding unsightly glue lines and color variation, and ensuring an exquisitely translucent finish. Unique construction features set Stickley apart from any other furniture made today, and ensure a product which will survive generations of use. Only Stickley, for instance, tongue and grooves the boards in its tabletops, ensuring an almost indestructible glue joint and allowing for nearly 20% greater finished thickness on all tops. Wide door panels are made of a single solid board which has been split in half, opened like a book, and re-glued together to create a dramatic book-matched grain pattern. In addition, corner feet on all stickly cases are not only splined and corner blocked like other furniture, but also reinforced with a rabbited corner brace. Early craftsmen knew the value of carefully pinned chair joints. Stickley is one of the few remaining companies that still take this extra step to ensure a lasting product. Such features are part of the Stickley legacy, which began over a century ago. Some would argue that we overbuild the furniture, but at Stickley, we have a different philosophy. They can't shortcut certain jobs, but there needs to be an intense amount of handwork in making this product. And the joinery is the best known to cabinet making so that it uh, is almost indestructible. Not quite, but almost. And there is Stickley's legendary finish, which begins with intensive hand sanding, where the pores of the wood are opened and its innate beauty is enhanced by a series of complex applications using dyes rather than pigments. Scores of skilled hand operations, including hand glazing and hand rubbing, provide a penetratingly deep yet clear finish that is resistant to heat, alcohol, and marring. Solid mahogany and 21st century tables feature another recent stickly innovation. Small pieces of solid ebony are inlaid into the solid wood of the tabletop to create a dramatic bordered effect normally found only on delicate veneer tabletops. Cabinet doors are of uncommonly high quality, with individual glass panes on many pieces either hand glazed or secured with individual pieces of carefully mitered solid wood. 
and the back panels on most bookcases and china tops are made of individual solid shiplap planks. There is nothing that is more reaffirming and reassuring of what we do today than the realization that it is going to outlive us. We always get calls from people saying how wonderful it is that this stickley is going to be there to pass down to their children. And that's the type of thing that, that makes you feel good about what you're doing. I talked to a grandmother who every year bought a piece for her grandchild, her, her grandchildren. And I thought that that was very telling and very touching. And so to be a part of people's history is a real honor. And it is a responsibility felt not just by the Audi family. I like Stickley Furniture, uh, not just because I make my living here, but because of our place in furniture history. When an individual puts his initials, it is more than the initials of a craftsman. It shows loyalty to standards that have been set since 1900 and that we continue to uphold today. And this proud company, with its many talented employees, has no less of a vision than did Gustav and Leopold Stickley almost a century ago. I think the fulfillment of my dreams would be that the furniture we're making today will be treasured heirlooms for centuries.